What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna be chilling, playing around with makeup. ColourPop has a bunch of new collections out, but I mean, what's new? I feel like they're always dropping hot new items. One of which is the Raw Beauty Christie collection. So I have several of those products here, including the Super Shock Shadows and also the eyeshadow palette. They also launched their holiday collection. So I'm gonna be using some of those items within today's video as well. It's gonna be a pretty chill and just fun video overall. So kick back, relax. Grab your matcha tea, water, whatever you drink. I have my coffee right here. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free. I upload every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you don't wanna miss it. So with that, let's go ahead and zoom in, and let's get started. All right, so what we're doing is we are priming the lids. What is new here? Y'all already know the drill. I am using the P. Louise Base 2 to prime my eyelids. Let me tell you guys, this lasts forever. I've had it for an entire year now, and it honestly barely looks like I've put a dent in this, but I'm gonna take a sponge and use this to buff and blend out the primer all over my eyelids. Also, I did just film a Reels video over on Instagram showing you guys how I do like at-home brow lamination, how I've been doing these very, very kind of fluffy boy brows. So check that out. Follow me over on the gram. Shameless plug. Oh my God. She got all kinds of eyeshadow primer in the brow. So let me, let me fix that really quick. Hunty, that was not cute. All right, so let's get into it. Raw Beauty Christie did launch an entire collection with ColourPop. I'm talking eyeshadow palette, lip glosses. We have Super Shock Shadows. And these here, I wanna say, are eyeliner. So I'm really excited. You guys know ColourPop is probably one of my favorite affordable makeup brands. If I was to collaborate with any brand on an eyeshadow palette, best believe it would be ColourPop or else. Manifestation, I'm manifesting it. I'm putting it out there into the universe. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into this. I have the At Forest Sight eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It is so cute. I really love the overall aesthetic of this entire collection. I also really love the shade range within this palette. I don't feel like I have anything like it in my collection. So the first shade I'm going to take, it's called the Puff Ball right here. I'm gonna take that into my crease. I'm gonna rock into my socket and really just do a good job blending it out with a M4 41 brush by Morphe. So this is really pretty in the crease, but I'm such a creature of habit that I really wish I would have went in with this yellow shade right here, like this really pretty mustard yellow. So I'm actually gonna pick a little bit of that up and try to put it directly over top of that brown. This here is a Morphe M514, by the way. I'm really just going to focus on putting it right up here just so that way a little bit of that yellow kind of peeks through. I don't know, anytime I see a yellow in the palette, I definitely feel like I need to use it some way, somehow. Let me know if I'm the only one down below in the comments. The next shade I'm gonna take is a shade right here. It's called Fiddlehead. I'm gonna take that on the same M514 brush and I'm just going to start building it up right out here just to give my outer V like a different effect and like a different kind of dimension. I'm also going to lightly start to blow it out because I do wanna create more of like a cat eye with this. But we'll see, we'll see where things take me because sometimes I'm just like, eh, I don't wanna do that. Rewind, regroup, but we're gonna roll with it. I'm now gonna go in with a flat brush with a little bit more of Fiddlehead and I'm just gonna go to town and really start to pack this in the outer V. Just because I do want it to be a little bit more intense. But so far, that is really pretty. So with this look today, I am gonna go the extra mile. I'm gonna take a little bit of my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade. This is actually Macadamia 1.5 and I'm gonna cut my crease with this. I'm just gonna carve out a little bit of lid space so I have more to work with for the shimmers. Then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of Fiddlehead and I'm just gonna start buffing and blending it into that concealer. Once I have it blended out, I always like to really just buff and blend out that concealer before anything. Otherwise, things start to get a little strange on the lid. So I'm just taking my time and really just bringing the shadow in a little bit further before I go in with my shimmers. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade right here. It's called Emerald City. And I'm gonna place that right next to Fiddlehead, but in the outer V, just because I do want to use this to kind of deepen up the rest of the look. I think that this is gonna look really, really beautiful out here. So I'm just taking it, tapping it, and going in small circular motions to blend it in with the other colors as well. 
So the next shade I'm gonna take is called West Coast. It's such a beautiful gold. Do you guys see that? Literally so incredibly beautiful. I'm gonna take this onto my lid and I'm first gonna start by just patting it with my finger. Do you see that? Hello, so pretty. I love that. She really killed it. Then to get super close to my crease, I'm just gonna use a brush. But for the most part, you don't have to wet the shade at all whatsoever. The next shade I'm gonna take is this one right here. It's called Evergreen. And I'm actually gonna use this as the in-between shade to really just buff everything together. And I'm gonna start by tapping it with my finger right into that yellow gold. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that yellow and then just buff it directly above everything just to kind of bring it into the look. I feel like it's really gonna complement this gold here. But all in all, like I'm pretty obsessed with the blend. I'm pretty obsessed with the color story I chose. If you guys want me to use any of the other colors within this palette, definitely let me know because maybe I can film something for you guys over on Instagram TV. But again, let me know down below. So I was thinking I really wanted to stop here, but I wanna add just like a little bit of smoke to this look. So I'm gonna take the shade right here. It's called Let It Rain. This one right here, this black has like some purple reflex to it but I'm just gonna take a little bit here on this outer part of the eye, why not? I am gonna go in with this eyeliner right here by Collab. This is the Align and Shine Metalized Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm gonna take this and run it right alongside that crease area where I cut my crease, just to add a little sparkle, a what? A little sparkle to this look. Couldn't talk for a second, very strange, but y'all already know what's up. Ooh, watch out world. I had to hold my breath for a second. This is actually very difficult. You need a very steady hand for this, which I have. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now for the sake of timing, I am going to clean up the fallout. I'm gonna do my base makeup off camera. If you guys wanna see which products I'm using on my face, definitely follow me over on Instagram TV because I am using a mixture of like new face products that I just got in PR, so follow me over on the gram. And with that, we're gonna take a short intermission. I will be right back. And just like that, we are back. I did do my base makeup off camera again. Follow me over on IGTV, Instagram, if you guys wanna see a little mini too. Something a little extra outside of this channel. I am trying to be a little bit more consistent on there. Your support will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. I do wanna finish off the lower lash line and really just go to town, smoke this out. So I'm gonna jump right back into that Raw Beauty Christy palette. And then with a the flat definer brush, I'm really just gonna concentrate on smoking a little bit of PNW on my lower lash line. It's that really pretty blue. I feel like it's really just going to complement what we have going on on the lid. Honestly, if I'm being completely real, this kind of reminds me of ABH subculture in the sense of like the greens. Am I the only one? Let me know down below. So now I'm gonna take my M507 with a little bit of Fiddlehead and I'm really just gonna use that to really buff and blow this out. I really want this to be a little bit more smoky. Sometimes I feel like people are a little scared to make this very, very blown out on the lower lash line. Me, on the other hand, I ball out with it. I really love to drag this very far down, but definitely do whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I do quickly want to throw swatches up on the screen of these three liners. You guys know these liners by ColourPop, the cream gel eyeliners are my all time favorite liners. I feel like if you get anything from ColourPop, definitely get some of their liners because I feel like if you're not really into playing with color, this is an awesome way to really just implement it into your everyday makeup routine in a subtle way. So she launched three different shades here. I have this brown one called Woodsy. The yellow one is Marigold. And then the green one is Spare Time. Like, you know, time, like, that's so cute. She did such a good job naming these. I'm gonna take the green one just because I do want more of a smoky look and I'm just gonna put this in my waterline. Now, Raw Beauty Christie did launch three Super Shock shadows within this collection, which I do find to be very iconic because when ColourPop launched several years back, one of the first things they came out with were these little Super Shock shadows here. And all three of them are shimmers, which makes me feel a little bit better about the palette because I'm not gonna lie, as I was using it, I'm like, okay, this is such a gorgeous palette, but there's only two shimmers in here. 
I definitely feel like you have to get these three Super Shock shadows to really get the full effect of the collection because otherwise you're left with a bright yellow and a green. And if you're not really into that, you won't really like love, love, love the palette if you get me. I do wanna throw swatches up on the screen of these Super Shock shadows so you can see what they swatch like. They are very beautiful. The first one we have here is called Olympic. Then we have Like a Moss. And lastly, we have this one called Campfire. It is such a beautiful and gorgeous copper shade. But anyways, besides that, I do quickly wanna go in with a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Olympic. It is a really, really beautiful kind of like I don't know, shimmery off white. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corner for an added pop to the look, but you can definitely skip it. I feel like Like a Moss will look really, really pretty here too. I would actually go in with Like a Moss in a second because I do really wanna utilize the colors that come within this collection. So I'm just gonna stick this right here first. I actually feel like whenever I use these Super Shock shadows that applying them with a brush is just kind of like a no-go. I feel like if I do apply it with a brush, I really need to spray it with some kind of fixed plush just so that way it stands out. These work insanely well with your fingers. I just don't feel like they perform the same with a brush, unfortunately. Again, like I said, I'm gonna take a little bit of this one right here called Like a Moss and I'm gonna sandwich it in between the other two shimmers I have going on just because I wanna use all the colors in the line, why not? I have them, why not use them? So I'm really torn as to whether or not I should do wing liner or not do wing liner, like. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I think I'm gonna skip out on wing liner completely just because I really wanna utilize all the lid space and I don't wanna cover up all the eyeshadow I just worked so hard doing. So we're gonna skip it all together. But I do wanna show you a lash set that ColourPop is launching for the holidays. By the way, video not sponsored by ColourPop whatsoever. You guys know I just truly get down with the brand and I love their products. Now, I haven't really dived deep into their foaming lashes, but I'm really excited to try these out. These are called It's Faux, the eight piece foaming false lash kit. So it has several different lashes in here. I want to say eight pairs. I just said that. Literally rewind the clip. What am I going through today? I have no idea, but on the back, you have all of the lash names here, which is really cute. I am going to pop on this style of lash right here, just because I feel like it looks very edgy and I feel like this look is a little bit more grungy. So I'm gonna pop those on very quickly and then we'll move on to the lip products within the collection. Then I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy lash curler and I'm just gonna pinch my lashes with these falsies. I love this lash curler here. I got it at Walgreens, it's by Revlon. Literally the best lash curler you will ever use in your life and you can thank me later. Then with a little bit of my Revlon So Fierce mascara, I'm also gonna coat my lashes and with the falsies, this is just going to help them blend a little bit better. So now that I have lashes on, I am gonna go in with a little bit of setting spray. You guys know I love to use setting spray to melt down my face, especially when it's looking a little powdery and I'm kind of feeling that right now. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It's one of my favorites. And I'm gonna kind of take a bath in it wait for it to dry down, and then we're gonna hop into lip products. Now, I will be going in with one of my favorite lip liners. This is Keep It Spicy by Ellie Girl. This is one of their Ultimate Intense Day Auto lip liners. It is so good. So I'm actually going to line my lips with them. I'm gonna overline them a little bit, and then we'll hop into the lip glosses that she came out with. The last and final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into some of the Lux glosses that she came out with. She did come out with two, which I was very, very happy about, but as you guys know, 2020, lip glosses aren't really mass friendly, so I'm not sure how often I'll get use out of these, but they are two extremely beautiful shades. I'm gonna be using this one right here called Wildflower. It's gonna create the prettiest ombre lip, but she also came out with this one, which has a little bit of sparkle. Let's just mix the two. Why not? We're here, might as well do it. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Like, I might not even need this one, actually. Why not? Let's just do it. 
So I went ahead and zoomed you out so you can get a feel for the look as a whole. Honestly, you guys, I'm so obsessed with this look. I think it is so Raw Beauty Christie. And when I say that, I feel like she really put her heart and soul into this collection. I feel like the palette screams her. I feel like the colors scream her. I feel like she plays with a little bit of color. She loves neutrals in that sense. And I feel like this palette is a really good mix of both. If you look at it, you have your yellows, you have your siennas, you have your neutrals, blues, greens, you have black. You have a little bit of everything within this palette. It's a sign. We, we gotta get to the end of the rainbow. There's always a pot of gold. And I feel like with these Super Shock singles, you could really tone this palette down if you're not really this bold. But all in all, I think she did an incredible job. I love the gel eyeliners, you guys know this. It's to no surprise. Also the lip gloss formula, very moisturizing, hydrating. It's nothing different than the regular Lux glosses within the ColourPop line. So if you love those, you're gonna love these as well. So that is pretty much my little video, my little makeup tutorial. If you guys want me to use this palette again, let me know down below in the comments. Again, I could film something on IGTV, but you guys are definitely gonna have to let me know. I didn't get a chance to talk about the Dreamery vault that ColourPop is launching for the holidays, mainly because I was so wrapped up in using the Raw Beauty Chrissy collection, but this is what it looks like. It has so many like fire super shock shadows in there that I will be using in a future video. I kind of want to do like a full face using holiday kits that I think are well worth the hype. So let me know how you guys feel about that. There's a helicopter outside ruining my audio. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.